I'm Justin Hinton. Here's a look at what's happening now. Today marks one year since Nevada State Trooper Micah May was killed. Officers were chasing Douglas Claiborne, who was accused of a carjacking. Troopers say they tried to stop him several times. But Trooper May was in the middle of the highway throwing stop sticks to try and stop Claiborne. That's when he was hit. He died in the hospital two days later. Evidence showed Claiborne was trying to reach for May's gun, and that's when officers shot Claiborne. Meantime, Clark County officials are pushing to add more state troopers to keep our roads safe. Andrew Bennett leads the Office of Traffic Safety. He published these videos showing drivers using an on-ramp as the off-ramp due to a traffic backup. He says a lack of troopers is partly to blame and says it's a problem that isn't going away anytime soon. We've lost eight or nine members um, just this month alone already who have retired, who have resigned to work for other agencies. And that trend is not stopped. It's not slowed down. You know, we're, we're down by more than 50%. The Nevada Police Union says a big issue is pay and benefits, which they say haven't been addressed since 2006. Justin. Thank you very much. Still a lot of humidity out there. Our temperatures warmer than they've been a bit more sunshine than we've seen. I expect the storm chance uh, to remain rather low in Las Vegas through the bulk of the afternoon. It's only about 10%. If you're outside, though, have the sunscreen and the water. 98 with humidity feels awful steamy. It'll be interesting uh, to watch thunderstorms very late today approach from Lincoln County as well as Utah. That may push some gusty storms our way towards sunset around 7:30, 8, 8:30 late today. So we'll be watching that storm chance drops to 20% Thursday through Friday and the weekend. But Justin, it's going to be hotter. Triple digits back starting tomorrow. All right. And you can also always get the latest news at KTNV.com, our KTNV mobile app, our Roku channel, and the latest version of Apple TV.